Hi friends, my name is Rocky from the Media Stock. And today in this tutorial, I will cover how to use uh, my new 50 premium callout pack for After Effects users. So let's start the tutorial. The first thing you will find the home composition, which is open by default, which is this here. From here, you can open up the content browser or open up some blank compositions from here. There is uh, four blank compositions I have made for you, or you can create by by your own from composition in composition and select it from here. All right. So let's talk about the content browser. Just open it up. From here you can see all the 50 callouts is placed nicely here. Make sure the resolution is full so that you can see clearly all of the callouts. You can open any of the callouts by double clicking on it. Let's see, open this one, double click it, and you can see a sub category is open here which is callout 6 preview it has 10 variation let me maximize this you can see top 4 is kind of same see the line is from the left, left side and the middle 4 from the right side and the bottom 2 from the top side there are some variations you can use you can use same type of callouts in one footage or you can use some variations as you want alright Let's open up another one. Let's say this one here. You see, same thing here with some variations. So all of the 50 comps have their own variations. So you can use it pretty much with any footage. Okay. So let's close this one. And in the second folder, you can open all of the 50 callouts. You you can see here by manually from here and their placeholders inside them inside the folders right I don't need to change anything to the assets folder so just ignore it now just let's talk about how to track your footage and how to use single callout in one footage and also multiple callouts in one footage so let's open up any blank compositions now here is the important thing if you want to use only one callout in one footage in this case you don't need to create any composition or open any composition you can go to directly to the callout and drop your footage underneath there and track it or keyframe it and you can render it directly from here but if you want to use multiple of the callouts in one footage then you have to create or open or choose any of the composition blank compositions then you have to import your video and drag it in here and then one by one you have to drag the callouts which you want to use on top of the video alright that's important so I'm gonna import this one okay and I'm gonna drag and drop here the footage is exactly 1280 by 720p but keep in mind if your footage is a little bit distorted or it will big enough you see it's 1920 by 1080p you might wanna fit to comp the footage so to do that right click transform fit to comp or alt control alt f okay that will perfectly fit your video into the composition that is kind of important. Let's just come back to the content browser and select or choose a callout. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use this one, the 27. Okay, open that up. And in this case, depending on my footage, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, or this one. This is the same. The line is coming from the right side, which is right for me. So I'm going to open that, here it is, now copy and paste the footage into this callout folder and drag this underneath this place footage layer, okay. 
or you can directly drag this the same footage underneath here please don't move it anywhere okay if you move the footage in the main com little bit then you have to copy this one and paste it paste the footage there so that it's properly okay keep in mind don't move it this the main footage here and move this one someone like this so the call out track will not be perfect in this way okay so if you move this one remember to exact copy this one and paste it here and drag it in the bottom now here you can see that the call out is a little bit larger so we have to scale it down so go to here text scale I'm gonna scale this down a little bit yes this is fine also the dot scale yes I'm gonna move this one also the pointer good now here's the thing you can manually give him both of these also the text and the pointer if your footage is not too complex then you don't have to track it you can manually do give him it let me show you here's my footage okay so I'm gonna go to first and and select my point point pointer move layer hit P and keep him the position here and drag this one little somewhere like here then move the divot two seconds and just keep track with the position but manually in this way you don't have to track okay but in some footage it might not be perfect you can also animate this one let's see hit P position forward downward again top as you like okay like so but if you want to track it then turn off these positions let's track the footage first so let me show you the tracking features to track you have to open up the tracker control here from the window and from here the tracker you can dock it anywhere you like let's make some place here yes now select the footage you want to track now go to track motion make sure your resolution is set to full now here is the tracker tracker point one and then I'm gonna increase the search area the tracker point and just select the position you want to track perfectly you have to set the cursor at the beginning of the footage just do that okay after you place the tracker point perfectly you need to hit the play button for the tutorial purpose I will just track it to the 3 or 4 seconds ok it's crossed the 4 seconds so I'm gonna hit stop now you can see the tracker is perfectly tracked the position now here's the important part after the tracking is complete click on this edit target button and from here just select the pointer move ok don't select any of this the callout can be affected alright so select only the pointer move and hit ok after that hit apply x and y ok now you can see on the video there's some keyframes created don't do anything with it just hide it and the pointer move hit u you can see also there's some keyframes created now you can see your footage is tracked perfectly with the null object now if you want to move the text also you have to do it manually so position here whatever you like and you can create that
after the tracking and all of the thing is perfectly done just delete the footage from here I come back to the main blank composition where you drop your actual footage already then you have to drag and drop your 27.5 this com which you tracked already into this blank composition so just navigate this 27.5 call out from here 27.5 this one or his shortcut you can find it instantly Let's go to this subcategory from where you open the call out right click reveal the source layer by that you can instantly find the call out composition now go to the blank composition here and drag this on top of the video okay again don't move it anywhere it's fine let's see it's perfectly tracked I'm gonna set the marker to 4 seconds because I have tracked to 4 seconds alright so let's import another one another call out here alright so let me see uh, so I'm importing the same type of call out here which is 27 underscore 6 source project here so I'm gonna drag this on top of it also open that out and copy this one to here alright again I'm gonna track uh, some different portion of the footage track motion edit target select this pointer move ok apply x and y delete the footage that's it good also move it also move the text layer it's going downward or go to upward I guess yep I'll just cross these things come back to the blank composition now you can see the callouts is tracked and position perfectly by these steps you can use any of these callouts into one footage or how, how many footage you like one more important thing after rendering the footage with your desired callout don't forget to delete the keyframes or turn off the stopwatch of them so that you can use it later alright changing text image and color is pretty easy first open up any of the callouts from here all the callout features are same just open this one alright now to change the text you can see there is two text folder let's go inside here and change you can change the font from here and spacing if you like and it should change the text if you're using any footage just open up any footage composition this one okay there will be a image holder delete this one import your footage and just drag it down to fit to comp and if you can see and you can see this is done alright to change color you have to click on this color control which is provided in each of the callout composition and from here you can change all of these parameters color and also some adjustment for scaling and some kind of stuff here
all of the callouts has the same settings. After you make all of the changes like changing text or images or the tracking, you can set the in and out point. I want to render only this portion to 4 seconds. After that, you can go to composition, add to render queue and then set the render quality to best, resolution to full, hit ok. Output module and select the video format you want to render. I'm gonna set it to I'm gonna set it to quick time. Hit OK. Uh, output to where you want to render it. So set the folder and hit render. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me. I will be happy to assist you.